everybody, it's Lindsay Bowden here and I wanted to show you today some of my favorite text effects for creating resources. So these are great for like headings or the top of your resource or if you are a seller on Teachers Pay Teachers, these can be great to really make your resources stand out like on your cover photos and your thumbnails and previews. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to talk about just basic text formatting first. So of course you're going to want to start with some text. So I'm just going to open up a text box here and I'm going to type, Hey, so of course you guys know the basics of changing your font to whatever you want. You can make it bigger or smaller here. You can change the color. Those are the basics. Pretty much everyone knows that, but there are some additional formatting tools that you can use. So let me go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to right click on the text box and I'm going to go to format shape. So it'll automatically have the shape option highlighted and that's actually going to format the rectangular shape of the text box. So if I wanted to fill it, see how it actually fills in the text box. And then you can also format the actual text. So I'm going to click over here to text options. And there are lots of different fills you can do for the actual letters of the text. And that's why I picked this big block kind of font because you can fill it and make it look really cool. So it's automatically going to be on solid fill. You can change that to gradient fill. So it kind of looks like a watercolor effect and you can change the colors. So here they're all blues. So if I click on one of these little flags and I change the color, it will change part of that color for me and then I can add more colors. If you have like brand colors, you can grab this dropper and go find your brand colors on the internet. You can even actually choose a theme in PowerPoint. That's kind of like more advanced settings, but you can choose a theme so that your brand colors are automatically in there. All right, so let's say I wanna move these up so you can move them up and down to show more of a certain color. So it looks like cotton candy, beautiful, I love it. You can outline your text. So let's say I wanna make it a big, thick black outline. So it really pops and stands out. They also have where you can fill with a picture. So if you have a picture of like flowers or something, you can fill the text with that. Or they have textures for you. So this is kind of like a wood grain texture. You can click here and there's some other textures. Now I have PowerPoint Mac 2019. So if you have a different version, you may have different options. Just be aware of that and things may be in a different spot. That is the version that I'm working on. And then they even have pattern fill and you can choose patterns here and you can change the color of those patterns to really make them stand out. Of course, you don't want to choose two of the same color. So you can have polka dots. There's all kinds of cool features just built straight into PowerPoint. You can play around, see what really pops. All right. And then there are some additional text effects here. So this is the first tab. I'm going to click over to the second tab. Actually, let me go ahead and change that fill back to solid so we can really see it. So shadows are cool. So you can add a shadow and that just kind of makes the text 3D and really pop. I love when people put shadows, especially on their cover pictures on TPT because it just makes that text really stand out and look tangible and 3D. Now, the only thing is if you click out, it's not going to be on the text anymore. So you have to click in and actually highlight the text to go to text options. All right. So shadows are cool. Reflections are kind of similar, but it's going to be kind of like a shadow below there. <clears throat> the glow feature is really cool. So you can choose a glow around it and you can change the color of the glow. So let's say, let me go back here. Let's say I want this like yellow color and really make it pop and send down. Now I still have that shadow on there. That's why it looks 3D. You can take that off if you want. All right. There's a couple other ones you can do. Um, 3D format to make it really pop. So just kind of play around with the settings. There are so many cool things that you can do with the text in PowerPoint. And then I also wanted to show you what's called word art. So I'm going to click over or smart art. It depends on your version. So I'm going to go to insert word art and I am going to go to, I'm just going to click this first one 
and I'm going to type hey. I'm going to make it bigger so we can see it. All right, there we go. So a couple of things that you can do with the word art that you can't do normally, I'm going to go to shape format, is you can transform it. So basically all of the same features are there that we looked at at the normal text formatting box, but when you make it shape art or word art, you can transform it and you can make the shape a circle or you can make it a semicircle and that is super cool so let's just try this here so let's say let's make this a little bit smaller let's say I wanted to put um, my name maybe I'm making a logo now it looks a little bit weird now because it's not a perfect square so circle we want a perfect square so I'm going to go over here to this little box and go to size and make it a perfect four by four. And you can see now that it is a nice circle. You can kind of spread out the words a little bit. You can rotate it around. Of course you can change the font just like a normal text box. And that's a pretty cool logo. We can add some spaces here you know, kind of rotate it around so it looks nice. And there are other options. You don't just have to do a circle. So go back to just highlight, go back to shape format and it's right here. So you can kind of do like a wave. There's lots of cool things. Let's just try this one. That looks cool. So again, so many cool things that you can do with text. Play around with it, see what you like. It's really fun to get in PowerPoint and play because I didn't realize until I started doing this, but there are so many cool things that you can do inside PowerPoint. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Don't forget, if you are interested in learning more about making math resources, you can head to mathresourceacademy.com.